everyone and um, thank you for tuning in and um, for those of you that don't know me my name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist and I also teach others how to become personal stylists in a style and academy here in um, Wiltshire so today's video is all about jeans I have tried on 15 20 pairs of jeans all from high street stores um, you will see that I have covered everything from the balloon jean to the straight leg jean to um, the straight wide leg, the straight um, flared or long flared leg, everything in between basically. There's so many different styles out there. It was far easier when everybody was just wearing the skinnies. So I've done the hard work for you. I've tried everything on. They're all in a size 10. Um, now it's important to say that I am five, three and a half, five, four. Like I say, I'm a size 10, um, but because of my height, I'm not going to look the same, obviously, in a size pair, pair of size 10 jeans as um, the next person is who's five foot eight. They're gonna look a lot taller and slimmer. So I probably look like more like a size 12, I would say, because of my lack of height. Uh, but I am indeed a size 10. Um, but when you're listening to the comments, I need you to really bear your own shape in mind. For example, um, if I say they fit really well on the waist but they're tight on my thighs and you know that you've got a small waist but um, you've got quite slender legs, then probably even though I'm saying that that jean isn't suitable for me, it might very well be suitable um, for yourself. But I hope you find the comments sort of general enough, um, you know, on softness and things like that. So it enables you a little bit more of an informed choice as to which jeans might be suitable for yourself. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you do, please press the thumbs um, up button. And even better still, if you press the red button and subscribe, I would be very grateful. Um, I often get a lot of messages saying, um, really love this blouse, but it's sold out. So if you subscribe, that's the best way to making sure that the products are still in stock because usually I buy the products on day one, they arrive day two, and then I film on day, day three. So if you have any questions, then please put them in the comments box for later on. And um, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so next the straight legged ankle grazer. Um, or they're meant to be ankle grazers, but because I'm only sort of five foot three, five foot four, then it's not always the case. Um, these ones are from H&M. They are in their conscious range. Um, they are meant to be high waist. They're not as high waisted as the others though. Um, high waist, vintage, slim ankle grazer jeans, straight legged jeans. So um, I don't think they particularly look that straight leg. They do kick out a little bit at the bottom here. Um, I would probably prefer them if maybe they came a little bit shorter on myself. Again, just to show that ankle, which is the thinnest part. Um, they are relatively soft. They've got a um, zip here. I do like the colour, even though the colour isn't overly flattering. Um, on my shape but if you've got skinny legs I think um, this sort of um, blue wash is really really nice in the summer it can look really really fresh um, the rips feel um, they kind of feel like good quality rips I don't know if you I don't know if that kind of makes sense um, but going back to one of the skinnies that I tried on before, I felt like that was going to really rip open, where some of these are actually covered over. Can you see that? Let me make it closer. Yeah, so fortunately I don't like them on my shape, but if you've got slimmer legs and you're a little bit taller, then I think these would be a great, great jean especially because they're from their conscience range as well. Okay, another pair of, um, let me get this right, straight legged ankle grazer or cropped um, straight leg jeans from Levi's from 501, so the original. Nowhere near as high on the waist as the other pairs. Um, There's a little bit of a gap as well on my waist. 
these are a waist 28 and I think I went for a leg 26 because I wanted them more uh, properly on the ankles. Um, they, do you know what? I love the look of 501s on everybody else. But because I do have a chunkier leg, I always find that they're not particularly forgiving for a curvier leg. So I would tend to go for a 501 on my um, slimmer clients than I would um, somebody with a few curves. This is them. The rips are quite nicely placed. I feel like there's a little bit of extra room on my bottom. They're not quite as tight there, but they are tighter lower down. And the, bit, the good thing about um, Levi's is that you can um, get the right length for you, which is always brilliant, especially if you're petite or um, obviously taller. So we've got another pair of H&M jeans here, high-waisted again, um, slim ankle grazers. Um, they, they aren't very forgiving. They feel like they're really, really pulling across my thighs. Um, I quite like the colour of them. Um, oh, when I just sort of put my leg out like that, almost my my fat is oozing out of the rips there so i don't think they've got much give in them at all actually they feel quite uncomfortable even though i quite like the overall look that they're giving i'm not sure that they're actually comfortable enough it's the difference when you get to my age you want comfort and style <laughs> i'm not prepared to compromise between the two so um yeah i don't know i, I keep sort of trying to see them in the camera yeah no i think i, li I like how they fit and i think if you've got slightly slimmer legs then um they're a good jean but if you are heavier on the thighs then there's not much give in them and they're feeling really quite restricted. So it's a no from me. So we have another straight legged cropped jean from Zara. As you can see this time in sort of like a whitey cream colour. It's also in their signature denim which um, size 10 again 29.99. So these are usually the slightly more expensive um, jeans. Personally, I don't like them. They are super tight. They feel like they have no give in them whatsoever. Um, maybe I just need to go up into a, a size 12, but they're really, really stiff. And I'm just into my comfort these days. Um, but I do like a white jean. I, even though these aren't right for me, um, I will still style them up for you to show you how um, a white jean with some win winter sort of creams can look really, really nice and really sophisticated. Um, but yet, oh, they don't fit me on the bottom either, where you will probably have heard from now that all the other size 10 jeans from Zara have done so. So, so these jeans are exactly the same jeans as the white ones that I have just shown you. So that is the Signature denim range from Zara, size 10, 29.99. And honestly, these feel like a completely different pair of jeans. So they're nowhere near as um, tight as the white ones were. The only similarity is that they're not fitting me that well up here on the bottom. Um, they are, of course, they're straight legged, but um, the ripped version. But for some reason, I'm just not loving them. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I don't feel like they're particularly flattering on myself. And I don't think they're, they're a pair that I would choose. So um, the mum fit, the classic mum fit that's absolutely everywhere at the moment. And we're going to start off with this pair from Zara. They are $27.99, again in a size 10. Um, these ones, I'm not sure if they're from their signature. 
signature collection. Um, but their signature collection are the ones that usually feel really quite tight and quite stiff with very little give. Um, I feel like they feel like this. Um, I like the rips. I like a black jean, um, sometimes more appropriate than a blue jean. I think you can style up a black jean really, really nicely. Um, but if we're just talking about the overall fit, they're quite tight around my thigh area here. Um, I can't really get my hands in the pocket that well, so maybe I just need to go up a size. But I do feel like if I go up a size, they're not going to fit me on the back there and they're going to probably be too baggy on my thigh. So um, I would always say with jeans generally, if you're in between sizes, go down because they often stretch. Um, but these ones from their signature collection, I don't find stretch at all. Don't be afraid to mix your styles up. We've got a ripped mum jean here, a white t-shirt with just a little bit of love on there from H&M and a black Zara blazer. Um, necklaces are from Masoma. Shoes are from Nex, just a, a loafer. So mixing the more refined blazer with the relaxed jeans makes it look a little bit more put together, less mumsy and a little bit more edgy, but still being age appropriate. So as a way of uh, comparison for you, these are the ASOS classic mum jeans. These again are in a size 10. They feel a little bit better up here on the waist. Um, they're definitely more comfy than the Zara classic mom jeans. However, well, the very nature of the mom style is that it's bigger and baggier. But I often think with my shape that if I go really baggy, then it generally makes me look bigger overall. So if I had a baggy jean like this on, I would probably style it with a tighter top on the top half. Um, and then it kind of gives the illusion that there's um, you're more slender all the way through. But when you go really, really baggy like this, as well as like if this top was out there, it just looks more chunky all the way down. So yeah, baggy, tighter on the top, and maybe tighter down here, baggier on the top as a as a general styling um, rule. So these are the classic Topshop mum jeans. Uh, they feel much tighter. I'm trying to get my hand in the pocket. They're much tighter and a slimmer leg than um, the Zara mum jeans. They fit really well up on the waist actually. In my Topshop jeans, I always buy petite because I like them more um, ankle grazing. And I think generally speaking, what I've realized from doing this is that on certainly my curvier, shorter frame, I prefer a either tighter um, mum jean ankle grazer or a um, flared long leg or sh really straight leg but very long type of um, jean. I think the baggier mum leg, even the boyfriend style, which um, sorry, I haven't had any that have arrived to show you those, but anything that's extra baggy on an already curvy shape, I think generally makes you look a little bit bigger. So, but yeah, I quite like these ones. They feel quite nice on. See Topshop you can now get from ASOS um, and all of their Jamie's and all the other classic brands, they sell everything there. Okay, and finally in the mum jeans, we've got the Zara ripped version. Um, I'm just a little turn up there just because they're a little bit long on me, but if you are taller, then they're probably a be a good fit. Um, in the blue ripped they feel fairly comfy actually. Um, they fit better upon my waist as well. So that's the black, white, cream and ripped versions that I've shown you from um, Zara and this pair fitted much better than all the others fitted. So I'll style this pair up for you and show you how I would wear these. I know all of you are going to be thinking, well, how am I meant to know which pair of jeans are going to fit me? There's, there's not 
not much science behind it. It is a trial, um, try them on, send them back type of thing. So I will always buy one of each style, get them home, try them on, walk around in them a little bit. And only after I've done that to see what sort of stretch comes in, do I make my decision. Because as we've seen today, you can have exactly the same um, pair of jeans and they fit completely differently. Okay, so um, really excited to say that the boot cut flare jean is back. Particularly good on my sort of shape because the flare at the bottom will help to balance out the thighs. Um, the longer you can wear your flares, the better. Try and wear them as long as you can. So I would always wear like a little boot underneath it or maybe a platform trainer or something on those lines. Um, because the beauty of the flared, certainly the flared indigo tight jean is that it's really going to elongate your frame. Um, particularly so when you've got a high waist like this one. And this, this pair are super soft. They're from Zara. Now I actually bought these maybe a year and a half ago, however they're still doing them, so obviously they will be linked. Um, highly recommend them, super, super soft. I think they fit again really well up onto the backside. Um, and yeah, they actually are one of my favorite jeans. Now the only thing you need to be careful of with a flared, skinny, um, sort of tighter jean like this is that a lot of my clients will say to me, oh great, I've got a pair of those in the cupboard. Actually, when you get that pair out from the cupboard, the styling is just slightly different. Maybe they're lower waisted, and maybe the flare isn't exa exaggerated. Personally, I like it when the flare comes from the knee. Um, I think that's a really nice styling um, quality of the jean, rather than going sort of down here and then just flaring out at, at that level. So if you're going to go for a flared jean, I would highly recommend either H&M or um, Zara for the best ones. It just really gives a really, really strong silhouette. But what you need to make sure of is that you don't pair a skinny boot cut with kind of like a mumsy top. You need to have the overall look, maybe quite 70s or just simple, nice little white t-shirt, some nice gold jewellery or something like that. Um, what I often see is my clients still wearing a boot cut jean with a, um, a, I don't know, a really flat trainer for example and then all of the, um, the boot cut part gets really, really ruched up and then they've got it with an old fashioned top then suddenly they look very mumsy rather than yummy mummy. So you really need to consider if you're going to wear a flare what to pair it with. So I will show you the type of way that I would probably style these up. I like to go down the 70s route a little bit, I like to go quite um, high so you can see the high waist and make that leg look a little bit longer. Okay, so the next pair I want to show you are from H&M. They are, I've got another pair right here, they are from their 20% recycled um, cotton range. The reason I'm holding up another pair here is because they're both in a size 10, um, high-waisted, it says comfort stretch, slim high-waist, full length jean, okay? Size 10, size 10, this pair here has got at least another inch and a half in leg length than the pair I am wearing right now. But anyway, I'll show you the shorter one because obviously that's um, better for my frame. So this is them, lighter colour. Once again, not going to be as flattering on my shape because they'll highlight um, the thigh area in the lighter colour. Um, they actually feel quite tight on the thighs as well. It says comfort, soft stretch or whatever. I'm not really getting that. Um, I've got a little bit of a gap at the back there, but not much. Um, I do like the colour. It's the sort of jean that I love the colour on somebody else, but not so much on myself. But it's the straight leg that everybody, the straight leg full length that everybody is wearing right now. So we've got another pair of 
Zara jeans, again size 10. Um, these ones are a little bit baggier there. Um, I feel this, yeah, there's quite a big gap actually um, on my waist here. These are full length, straight legged ripped. I feel they are more straight legged than the pair that I just had on from H&M that were meant to be straight leg but actually looked a little bit more um, boot cutty. Um, quite like these. I would say they are a little tight around the crutch area and I could be in danger of um, getting the dreaded camel toe. So I think, let me see if they stretch. I often do this as well. Get down. You can really tell quite quickly. Oh, yeah, actually, they feel like they've just stretched loads. Sorry, you didn't come on here to watch me doing lunges, uh, squats even. So, um, yeah, my goodness, they've actually just given loads. So, I don't think probably they're great if I wanted to wear sort of a shorter cropped top, which quite frankly I think my crop type top days have gone anyway, because um, I do feel a little bit baggy there, but I like them, I think they're quite a trendy look, um, everybody's wearing these at the moment, I like the colour, I think these are actually going to style up really nicely. So I'll start to put some pictures up now of that and see what you think. But yeah, I think they're a grower, definitely, definitely a grower on me. So next up we have got the paper bag jean from, again from Zara. Um, I think they're called paper bag carrot leg, which um, sometimes they're described as balloon legs as well. Um, they are actually super, super soft. I feel though there's a lot of extra room in them here. Can you see? I feel like they probably make me look a little bit bigger than I am. So I would probably go down a size in these. I've took the top in just so you can see that waistband. Come to quite a nice length on the ankles. But yeah, I feel like I could probably fit I don't know, I was about to say I can feel, fit two people in, but actually across my thigh areas, there's not that much room. The room is more sort of all here. Look, yeah, I feel like that's what I would end up looking like. Um, I could probably get them working for like a photo um, to look good on Instagram or something like that, but I think the reality of them is that I would just end up looking like I'm hiding sort of a, a big round tummy in there. And that just shows you actually, you know, you can see them on the model and they look amazing, but then the reality of actually how you wear them is completely different. Um, what I will say is that the colour is very nice. Um, I would also say that they are incredibly comfy. I quite like to just chill out in the house. It's a, bit, a little bit like wearing your jogging pants. So I would definitely try on more balloon pairs, but I would probably go down a size so that they fitted this sort of area a little bit better. Okay, so um, into the skinny category now. I've only got two pairs of skinnies to show you. This is the first one. These are from ASOS. They feel super soft really really comfy and um, obviously very very super skinny very high waist which is nice um, they were 19.99 so bargain um, let me just show you the full length there so um, the one thing I would say about them is that they're so super soft that I almost feel like if I do do that with my knee I don't actually want to do it now but they might rip even further which might be fine if that's um, if you don't mind that but um, generally speaking probably one of the softest super skinnies that I have tried on so yeah goodbye so these next
next ones are from Zara. They are their classic high waist, um, dark blue. Um, they usually call them indigo, but I'll link them below anyway. Um, the darker colour in them, especially in a skinny, is always going to be more flattering if you've got more of a curvy figure like myself. Um, I always think that there's a need for ripped and not ripped in your wardrobe. There's always situations uh, for myself where a ripped jean isn't maybe appropriate. So a smarter jean like this um, definitely comes in handy. They feel really soft. They've got loads of give in them. I feel like I would be comfy. Um, in fact, for me, these are the sort of jeans, they're so comfy that these are the sort of jeans that I stick in my wellies for a dog walk um, because they feel really comfy. They don't feel overly tight or anything. Yeah, so I quite like these ones. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please thumbs up and subscribe below if you'd like to see more. Thank you.